In our last video, we set off from Huey, stopping in at the City of Ghosts and checking out the amazing mausoleums. We then stopped at a fishing village and you guys went on Yarnakam. We then stumbled upon some abandoned buildings and went for an urbex. After lunch at a gorgeous spot on the beach, we headed off again. And although I was enjoying the views, I really wanted somewhere to swim. And that's where we left off. So welcome back. Welcome to World Rampage Vietnam Series. I'm hoping we can find somewhere to swim. I know we were just at the beach, but I want a waterfall. I want a river. Where are we? What are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. I've lost track of what we're doing. So, uh, there's going to be a pleasant surprise. Wherever we end up. Oh, oh swimming. Yeah. yeah. I had no idea where we were going. No. I did me, me say. <laughs> I'm glad. Sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, you just, just follow the road. Just follow the same. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, so we've just rocked up at... Where's this place? Some place up in the mountains. I'll put it down the bottom. And um, it's a swimming hole, so we're gonna go and have a swim and check it out. How beautiful is that? The water is crystal clear. That's unreal. Well, I'm gonna take my clothes off and go for a swim. And I'll catch you soon. They say to be careful what you wish for. I definitely enjoyed wishing for this one. What do you reckon guys? Good spot? Yeah? Yeah, it's lovely here. The water is so nice, it's not freezing cold. Um, it's just perfect temperature. So, yeah. Well, they should take you here on the tour. Yeah, they'll take, you, definitely take you If you do take the same the tour. tour as us, um, they'll take you here. So yeah. You just gotta tell them what you like. You know, um, we had two options. One included a swim, one did not. We went, we went with the swim because it was so hot. Well, it's not today. Today's not as hot as the other day. No, the and first day by, was the hottest. Yeah, by far. So, but it's still nice and refreshing. It's still about 33 degrees. Mm. So, yeah. yeah. And there's butterflies. And, and mother's, mother-in-laws. <laughs> yeah, waiting for the fish. fish, eating my fish. My a fish is eating my foot. They're biting at my feet. Are they? Yeah. I'm waiting for them. That was a lot of fun. I think it's time to get back on the bikes though and keep it moving. I know we said that we were on Yana Cam, but I've been sacked. Sacked. <laughs> so you got Luke again. All these sticks. They have tyres around them and they um, grow muscles. See all the tyres? Piles and piles of tyres, they recycle them and grow muscles on them. Yeah, it stinks. 
big old pretty bridge with a beautiful background. Look at that. That might become a screensaver, that one. I mean, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, the High Van Pass. Here we go. Oh my Lord, guys. So the train's coming. We missed Train Street in Hanoi, but hey, we got it right here. motorbike enthusiast, you've probably already heard of the High Van Pass. If you haven't, it's a 20 kilometer stretch of road between Long Cao and Da Nang. It goes up to 500 meters above sea level, making it the highest pass in all of Vietnam. You may have even seen this on a TV show once, because Jeremy, James and Hammond from Top Gear drove this very same road back in 2008, making the pass even more popular than before. With some truly epic scenery, this is a cool bucket lister to tick off if you're in that area. There are a lot of ways to do the high van pass. You can do an easy rider, you can do a Jeep tour, or you can ride it yourself. But if you do plan to ride this yourself, be very wary of the hairpins and corners, taking care to avoid the big trucks that come around those corners too. Finishing the High Van Pass, we officially went into Da Nang, where the traffic got crazy again. The ocean to the left of us, or ocean to the left of us. <laughs> ah, this is fantastic. City to the right of us. Crazy, crazy traffic in front of us. <laughs> okay guys here we are at marble mountain we are late late <laughs> so we don't get to take the elevator yeah it closes at five and it's like 10 past five 
So if you're gonna come to the Marble Mountain, make sure you're here before five o'clock. Yeah. Thank you. That's that way you can just catch the elevator up. Yeah. And, and as you can see in the background, with every tourist trap, there is markets. Um, I like to say help the locals out, but these guys get plenty of money, so it's uh, it's your call. Whoa. Holy hell. We are extremely unfit. No. You know. I've just had enough of stairs. Yeah. My legs are done. Oh, At least there's no tourists around. That's the good part. Yeah. Yeah. Not a single other person here. Because they don't want to walk the stairs. that guys. It's gorgeous. It's unreal. Ah. Well, stunning little statues here. All made of marble. Ah look at that. All of this would have been hand carved. Hello. <laughs> These stairs are horrific. They're so big. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't believe all this artwork is made out of pottery. Broken up pottery. Everywhere. It, it's not until you get up close and you realise it's all bits of plates. And cups. and other cool stuff. Such a beautiful temple was probably built here be, you know, and you could look over the ocean, it was fantastic, but now there's just a massive building there blocking the ocean view. As the sun set, we headed into Hoi An the City of Lanterns. This is a really pretty street. This is unreal guys, look at this. Lanterns everywhere, it's beautiful. What a pretty, pretty street. The last ride. Yeah, the last one. The last ride is always the saddest. Riding through Hoi An towards our hotel, we all quietly reminisced over the last three days. We saw some amazing sights, met some amazing people. Sure, we had a breakdown, Luke got really sick, but that was all part of the adventure. Our guide, Quinn, was easygoing, interesting, and a genuinely good guy. We couldn't have asked for better these three days would end up being my favourite memories of the whole trip. So if you're limited on time and you want to see and do and experience a lot on your trip to Vietnam, do a motorbike tour. But for now, it was time for us to say goodbye to our guide and our bikes. Oh, goodbye, my steed. You could. <laughs> well, yesterday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A little meltdown, but yeah, apart from that. Yeah, yeah. So it's a long, long journey. Yeah. Uh, Give it yeah, a cuddle. No, I yeah. just did. And uh, everything. <laughs>